what's going on everybody this negative ads and I'm just showing off my retro pi 4 I installed the latest build of Laka for this single board computer and my primary goal on here is to run Power Stone 2 from Laka using Rycast people that's on Facebook you've seen a four player table I made dedicated for Power Stone 2 well this is what I'm going to use to play it anyway I'm just showcasing the game how well it plays on here it's not at a full 100% I would say it's 90% playable but it's still in early stages the Pi 4 is still early you know hasn't been out that long and I'm pretty sure with a couple of updates we'll get to 100% but anyway the results is really good I'll let you see for yourself so I'm going to go ahead and load it, load content, go to storage, the little hard drive icon. All right, we go down to the storage folder. We're going down to ROMs. Hold on, go up one. All right, the miscellaneous folder is my USB 3.0 um, thumb drive because the game is in that. It runs better from that anyway. ROMs folder again inside the thumb drive. And we're looking for the Dreamcast folder. And there it is, Power Stone 2. Let's get it. Now right, you got the FPS counter on the top right. And of course, it's going to show Dander 60 on the still image. <laughs> but pay attention to that as the game plays out. Like I said, it's not a full 60 frames per second. As you know certain parts or whatever it'll drop under 50 but the gameplay itself shouldn't go under 50 it might jump it uh oh we got a 60 frames don't play with me like that oh that is right I can overclock this too I might get a 460 if I do that but this is uh, excuse me this is good this is good right here it's damn near 60 but that's just the cutscenes and all that though what we're looking at is the performance of the FPS during the full gameplay so once it does a demonstration we can judge from there I'm not going to play the game I'm just going to let the demo play out alright it should load up any moment Remember, don't miss the elevator, or else you'll be sorry. Jim, you okay? Here goes to you. Let the battle begin. Alright, here's where it make a difference. Like I said, I'm not getting the 460, but it's staying in the 50s though. And it's actually playable. I want to see how this plays out using my table. If not, then I just make a cheap. In, uh, excuse me, I can't talk. If it doesn't work out well or like I expected, I'll just make a cheap emulation PC using the APU <clears throat> instead of a um, you know graphics card or whatever. Most likely it'll be the 2400G from Ryzen, AMD. Those are some damn good chips. And all I just need is 8 gig of RAM. Excuse me, 8 gigs of RAM, a cheap motherboard, and some RAM. It could be 2400 megahertz. It don't gotta be 30. But anyway, there you go. Plays very good. Plays, oh shit, plays damn good. But like I said, the RetroPie 4 hasn't been out for long. And devs are still updating, you know, these operating systems emulation systems and stuff like that or whatever and i'm pretty sure we're gonna hit that 460 all the way through for dreamcast so yeah there you go power stone 2 using laka the latest build the nightly build on the retro pi 4 not even overclock yet i'll do an overclock video to see if there's a difference and do a comparison all right holla at y'all